Loose Women star Judy Love said it's a shame that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle feel the need to explain themselves about missing King Charles' 75th birthday this week. Recent reports claimed that the pair declined to attend the King's celebrations, however a spokesperson for the Duke has since said they had not received an invitation. Addressing the news in her OK magazine column, Judy said, I think it's sad that they have to keep explaining themselves and sharing details of their personal lives. It's a shame that after all this time, everything that has happened, even documentaries and court cases, they still have to speak out and tell the media when they are or aren't doing something. Everyone is so interested in what they're doing all the time. A spokesperson on behalf of Harry has said there had been no contact regarding an invitation to His Majesty's upcoming birthday, adding that any reports which suggested otherwise were disappointing to the Independent. Charles will reportedly celebrate his 75th birthday with a tea party at Highgrove House followed by an intimate evening at Clarence House. Celebrations are also said to include the launch of the Coronation Food Project and a reception in honor of National Health Service's 75th anniversary. It's believed Harry and Meghan also have no plans to spend Christmas with his family in the UK. They have been living in the US since 2020, when they stepped away from their senior royal duties. In 2019, they became parents to son Archie who is now four, followed by their daughter Lilibet, aged two. Judy is no stranger to defending the pair over their decisions. Back in August, she questioned why some were criticizing their reported new project with Netflix following the release of their documentary. The couple are said to be behind production duties of the romantic drama Netflix movie Meet Me at the Lake, however it sparked backlash as the novel, written by Carly Fortune, includes one character losing a parent in a car crash as a child. With this, some had questioned whether the couple may be profiting off an upsetting time for Harry, Prince William and the rest of the royal family following Princess Diana's death. 